Yesterday was Hari Merdeka and this has been a very meaningful moment for us because during Hari Merdeka, the operations team at KLATCC has successfully migrated uh, full operations into the new centre. We started full operations on the 1st September at 2 a.m. in the morning and it's very meaningful to us at CAM and all Malaysians because the operation work and the migration work happened on Merdeka Day. So this is a gift uh, from CAM to all Malaysians. <laughs> Emirates 449 identified, then uh, welcome to new 132 decimal 8 operating in Supang, in Sepang, climb flat level 240. Welcome. The structure is very beneficial. Currently, uh, before the new airspace migration, Malaysia could do 78 movements per hour. Right now, with this new centre and state of the art facility, we are able to do 108 movements per hour which will provide a seamless and very efficient air traffic movement for the country. Now, this is very, very important as we move forward to international standards uh, in terms of compliance and also providing the best possible service to all in the civil aviation industry. It's a little bit tough right now. We're in the middle of a pandemic and civil aviation industry capacity is low. However, CAM air traffic controllers would like to, to let everybody know, to let all Malaysians know that we are ready we are ready for when the aviation industry returns in a big way, we will be able to provide the best possible service in a safe and secure manner. The new air traffic control centre in Sepang was designed and built to accommodate the growing number of traffic within the years. Of course, with the new system, there are more additional features uh, if in comparison to the old one. And uh, the main one is the stability of the system itself. Uh, here, we do have uh, three, backup, uh, three backup layers of uh, system where if the main fails, then the, the, the second and third one will take over. With the new triple runway operation, we are able to uh, operate to accommodate for 108 movement aircraft per hour. The migration involves a strategic step whereby we have to plan all the routes into the old system in Subang, run it parallel with us, operate from Subang first, then we move in one by one following the direct lines, the communication, the frequency, the radar data, and finally uh, the, uh, all the advanced application of ATM system to Kelai Sepang. I would like to thank uh, all our stakeholders, especially our parents, um, Ministry of Transport Malaysia, who has been very, very supportive. The RMAF, Royal Malaysian Air Force, who have been with us uh, from the very start of this project and who are still with us and will be operating with us uh, from this new centre. So thank you to the Ministry of Transport and also to RMAF uh, for all the support and also teamwork in making this happen.